morning everybody I just thought I'd come do a little garden update see the corns out growing it's getting ready to send its tossel up probably hear all them roosters in the background Those green beans are blooming I've seen a few little little beans somewhere. Yeah, way down here, there's a few little little green beans there starting. So it won't be long. We'll be uh, picking green beans. I did pick a big old mess of the uh, English peas, and I need to tie them tomatoes up today for sure. See the grass is starting to come up between the rows. So I'll probably have to get that tiller out. We think we got a pretty good chance of rain coming in tomorrow. Slight chance of rain today. We got a few peppers set over here. I don't remember what peppers these were. I don't remember planting these these type of peppers. And a little cayennes over here. They're kind of shaded out with these peas, but we got a few cayennes started on them. Once these peas uh get done i'll i'll pull them out of there and so we got you know, some, some peas that was probably ready to pick picked picked some yesterday and then i can four pints up uh and i put some carrots in with them to uh finish out the jars which I don't recommend but the, the processing time for carrots is shorter than it is for the English peas so the carrots are going to be a little extra soft we've been eating radishes <laughs> there's some more uh, yard long green beans down in amongst all of that I don't know they they may be uh, competing too much I do see a ladybug over here maybe she's eating something the onions, the onions are, you know they're just not that great looking this year but That's a buckwheat blooming there. Where I had this buckwheat planted last year, it went to seed several times. And it's uh, coming back here and there. So I've been pulling most of it up. I don't know if you noticed or not, but my, my dirt pile's gone. <laughs> finally, finally got it all uh, put into these self-wicking tubs which so I ran out of dirt didn't uh, didn't fill up all of the tubs I had but uh, got uh, got these here and I may move these it's, it may be too hot over here these peppers here got sunburnt I just pulled them out of the greenhouse and stuck them out here and it gets pretty warm over here as you can see the, the leaves got a little sun blistered there's some cayennes on these. These are Tabasco. I plan on uh, trying to make my own fermented hot sauce this year, but we'll see. Got a few little blooms on the, on the cucumbers. Some more of these weeds. Oh, I hate these things. They outgrow everything out here. I don't remember what these squash were. They're a vining type, so it may be a 
spaghetti squash or, or some type of uh, winter squash. You know, they use a, this looks like a, a patty pan. This is a yellow patty pan here. They're just getting ready to, to make some squashes. There's some more weeds. You see, they'll outgrow everything in the garden. They get a pretty <clears throat> nice root system on them. They, uh... uh oh, I see some beans over here. Be sooner than I thought, we'll be having green beans. Get there. I need to pay better attention. Looks like there's several out here. Yeah. Could probably pick some of them today. Here's here's the here's the tubs I, I've got filled up. And there's 17 on the north side over there. I like them. Two of them of having the 17 over here. So there's 15 here that's got dirt in it. And they don't have enough for, for these other tubs. Now some of these are just, we're just holding the plastic down uh, because the bottom were cracked and or I had holes in them. But some of these other green ones we're all split in the bottom. See, uh, they get uh, dry over over the years, and the, the bottom cracks. These black ones seem to hold up better. These blue ones are the worst. Got my got my pipe in here. All all ready, and I've got the uh, got to cut up the rest of it and I've, it'll probably take 300 foot I've used over 200 foot now working on my third roll and I'm just going to leave this black plastic here it does uh, hold water but it keeps the grass out better than the uh, the weed barrier we'll see you know, once summertime this water is going to evaporate anyway so got out here and started putting water in some of them late yesterday evening here's what's left of the third roll and i'll i'll probably get out here and uh cut it up but here we go Got some of these transplanted. Get past that other little racket maker. These over here are are water troughs, <laughs> and I I turned them into planters. So maybe I can grow some root crops in there, because there's not a lot of dirt space in these other tubs over here. For root crops once you you get that six inch pipe in there you know you're, you're you're talking about you know this much maybe eight inches of dirt there I might may have to uh, do something different on, on the uh, shade cloth it may be too warm for these cabbages they're really not wanting to, to head up I mean, they, they, they started a little bit, but I don't think they're going to make a head. Now, this is the, the largest one, and it, it's just got some loose curls going on there. Okay. I like one more tub of uh, having these all swapped out, and that's that one tomato plant there. It's got the... 
stand or trellis, whatever you want to call it. But I can once these are all tomatoes are all gone, I'll I'll swap it over. I've already got the tub ready to go. I just gotta put dirt in it and then uh, move this one out of the way. I mean, I transplanted these <laughs> out of different tubs. So they got beat up a little bit. And they've been in here all winter. They're, they're pretty rough looking anyway. But I, I put some uh, potatoes in here. We'll see if they'll, they'll produce anything in this hot greenhouse. And uh, this is some spinach I thought I would try. See how it, it did through the summer in here. It's, it's stretching looking for sunlight. I planted some carrots over here in this one. And this is some garlic chives. I trimmed them back when I transplanted them. Then I put some sweet potatoes in this one here to see how they do. And there's one little broccoli over here. It's not going to do much. A little bitty broccoli head starting on it. Got these little sticky traps catching fungus gnats. We'll catch y'all later. Oh, you got a fine boy here, man. Ooh, I ought to... Ooh, he's a little dog. Yeah.